right, guys. So, you know, I like to record myself because, um, well, we'll start recording myself because sometimes we go over things that have a lot of value and there's things that I've learned growing up, things that I've learned. And I've noticed that a lot of the things that I know that I have acquired knowledge from people that are better off than I am and it's are things that some people are never exposed to in their life. And you guys as part of our team have the privilege of getting ex that exposure. And I would like to uh, pay even further and deeper by also exposing our team members, our team members that may be watching this um, at their leisure to some of this information that I believe will help them in their professional development. And today we're gonna to talk about development. Um, to, what is development for you guys? Let's think about it for a second. Who, what do you consider development to be right now? Um, growth. So personal growth. Personal growth. Professional growth. Professional. Not staying stagnant. Always um, accomplishing goals and then setting new goals to exceed and grow. And just not staying on one level, but always going forward. Always moving forward. Moving forward. How about for I'm you? I'm not good with him, but also learning. Learning. Learning new things every day, right? Yes. And it's, that's precisely, you both are right. But there are things that pull us, right? And you might you might say and think to yourself, if we know what development is, and we understand that development is needed in order to be successful in life, what is it that stops a lot of us from just focusing on development most of the time so that you, you can be successful? I asked somebody a question yesterday, and it was, if you had to give up all of your bad habits, if you had to go back to school or start school and just become an exemplary person, like, you know, stop hanging out with your friends so much um, and focus, start reading books, even though you hate reading books. But by doing this, you will get everything that you could possibly want in life. Will you do it? And their answer was like, yes, of course I would. Of course I would do it. I'll be, oh, I'll do it right away. And my next follow-up question, it was, well, how come you haven't done it yet? Like, what stops you? And that's kind of what I want to dig in today, right? What stops us from developing ourselves, even though we know and understand that the way to success, um, financial freedom, even happiness, is, profession is professional development and self-development. But the issue is that we need to have the right perspective on things, right? If we don't understand that by developing ourselves, we're going to accomplish our goals, we're going to be successful, then development comes second nature to survival. And a lot of us focus so much on survival, making enough money to eat, making enough money to uh, pay the rent, that we're... And then when we have some time, instead of focusing on developing yourself, you focus on a mental leisure, right? And I don't want to say being lazy <laughs> and binging on Netflix or uh, just, you know, watching TV and movies all day long instead of reading something or watching a, a show. It can even be a documentary or something that's going to add value to your life. Um, we just decide to just focus on those things that really don't add much value to ourselves because it's mentally good, right? We don't have the right perspective. We don't understand how development is going to add to your life. The other thing is being comfortable, right? You have to, in order to, to develop yourself, and the reason, I think this is one of the most important reasons why people don't do it, even though they understand and know that's exactly what they need in order to accomplish their dreams and everything that they want, is because it's very, very uncomfortable. I, when, when I have a conversation with a new manager or somebody that's aspiring to be of leadership, the first thing that I tell them is you have to become comfortable being uncomfortable. Because unless you do that, unless you understand and embrace being uncomfortable, then you're not going to make it. You're going to give up and you're going to go back to doing the same thing that you always did. right? Because it's just, it's just the mindset. It's hard, and people don't like uncomfortable situations. But in order to develop and grow, you need to be uncomfortable. So as soon as you start seeing hints of being uncomfortable, people tend to go back to what they know, and they feel comfortable. 
right? But in order for a new manager to develop themselves, they have to go, go through challenges. If, you, if they don't experience challenges, they're not going to become stronger leaders, a stronger person. And that's true to any aspect of, uh, of personal development. Then, so we, what were these, what were these? The next one is making mistakes. Um, who here likes to make mistakes? Oh, look at you guys. I, I hate making mistakes. You hate? I don't like making mistakes. Well, no, I don't know. Like. Pero, pero truth game, truth yeah. to honesty, like, I don't like making mistakes. Okay, Do you pero, guys like making mistakes? Okay, I'll, mira que pasa. Es que yo quiero desde este punto. Mm -hmm. um, en el momento nos enojamos por hacer mistakes, pero how do you learn if you don't make mistakes? You have the right. Como tu, como tu but that's, that's the right answer, though. That's what I'm looking for. But do you truly, honestly like making bueno, mistakes? Desde mi corazón, no. No. It's something that I've adapted to my life. The mm. mistakes no me, no me molest me at that point of stressing me because I know that from that it's going to be something better. So it's right. something that I've learned to adapt. How, be, how about you? You want to revise the answer? Or you, um, you hardly... No. Like, oh, yes, I'm going to make a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Like, wait. I like to get it out the way early because I know it's a part of the process. So I always okay. tell myself to trust the process. Mm -hmm. You're going to make mistakes and try to learn as fast as possible from those mistakes. And that's So my approach to mistakes is not to run away from it, but just to embrace it as right. a natural process. But you guys are, are not the common person out there, right? Yeah. You guys are not in the same mindset as your team members because you are in a general manager position. And I do expect you guys to have some level of reasoning as to why mistakes are part of the process. But for the common person that may be watching this, they see mistakes as something that is out of this world and they hate mistakes, do not embrace mistakes. And in order to develop yourself and be successful at whatever it is that you do, because I'm talking in general here, it's not just being a successful leader or being, is it anything that you do? You have to make mistakes, right? Um, I, 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 I've been dying to have a conversation with Alex because um, Alex is a great person and he understands that people are going to make mistakes. He's getting better at accepting that others are going to make mistakes, but in a certain aspect, when somebody makes some mistakes, it still kind of bother. He doesn't show it that much anymore. He has really developed himself for that, but it does bother him, and he cannot understand why this person made a mistake. And it's, if you guys, as managers, have a team member or as a leader, you have a team member or somebody that make a mistake, you have to measure the level of that mistake and whether that was an honest mistake or whether that was an intentional mistake, right? And then your goal is to try to reason with them, to, to teach them and have them learn from that mistake. If it's a bad enough mistake that deserves somebody to be fired from their job, um, you have to see if that person really meant to do it or if they're going to learn from it. You might give them another opportunity or you give them an opportunity to, to, to prove themselves. But regardless of the case, you as leaders and as people watching this, you have to embrace mistakes, whether they're made by you or whether they're made by somebody that you're trying to develop and grow as a person. Mistakes are good. Welcome them, but learn from them. And um, the next thing is, you know, what we're taught growing up. We are taught growing up to not take risk. We are taught to be safe. We are taught um, to go to school. And we think that what they teach you in school, that it's it. Oh, I already went to, to high school, I already went through college, and I have a good paying job, and relatively good paying job, right? Because good is relative. So when I asked you guys the questions earlier about our budget, some of you guys said, uh, or it's a lot, $5,000 is a lot, right? And some of you guys say, well, I wanna say uh, $80,000, you know, like it's relative. It's relative to, to what you're uh, around, relative to your knowledge, etc. So getting a good paying job and going to school, that is it. For most people, that's where it ends. They never pick up a book in their life. They never worry about going to a seminar to improve their skills unless the job 
forces them, in which case, for most people, the grand majority of people, if you're told that there's going to be a development on your job, people get upset. Or they, they get happy because they hate their job, and now it's an opportunity for them to get a day off of work. And which is, so they're not looking at the value of the stuff that they're going to learn in the development. They're just looking to get, to get one free day. Right, so it's very important that you understand this is how we're brought up. And the system is designed so, not, so that not everybody become, develops themselves and become extremely successful. Because if everybody was successful, right, and this is just common sense, if everybody in the United States was a successful entrepreneur, was really successful at whatever they decided to do, then who's going to do the bottom part of work that, that are not really people don't want to do? Who will be the workers, right? So the system is designed for that. Some of us are going to realize that, and we're going to start venturing off and trying to find our own path, trying to improve ourselves, improve our family, and become and try to work towards that 5% uh, of the people that own all the wealth. So what we're taught is against the development, believe it or not. Um, change. Change, I believe that from when you're here and you're going to go somewhere else, there's got to be a change, right? And if, if you don't understand that you need to change your current state to be in a new state, you're already losing the battle. You have to change. You cannot become a better person if you are the same person that you were when you were in high school. I'm never going to forget what all my friends in middle school used to tell me. Especially during that week of graduation. This is middle school, back in 2000, 2001. All, all my friends wrote in my middle school book. And if you, if you had a middle school um, yearbook, look for it. Never change. I hope you always stay the same. Like, that is the worst possible advice that somebody can give you. Think about it. And even some of us adults say, oh yeah, I'm the, I'm the same as I was uh, when I graduated high school. You, you have changed. Well, you're not giving yourself a compliment. You haven't developed yourself. You should be changing. Everyone should be changing to become a better person, a better version of themselves. Right? So, again, change is very tricky. Do not listen to those people that say never to change because they're, that's not in your best interest. And family and friends. <laughs> so your family and friends don't want you to change. You know why? Because you might and you will change your family and friends. <laughs> yes, you might not. Obviously, you can't change your family and friends. <laughs> no, but you no, will. I know you, you can't change your family, but you will get new friends. Yeah. Spend less time with your family. And you're going to yeah, spend a lot less time with you your family. So your family and friends will do whatever is in their power to stop you from changing because they don't want to lose you. But unfortunately, if you want to be a successful person in life, you have to go through the step of change and you have to embrace um, mistakes. You have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. You have to look at life at a different perspective than what you're taught, right? And always remember that it's possible, and others have done it, and you will be able to do it. It's not a big deal, as long as you remember these things. Thank you. I hope you guys know.